What is good? We're back. Better than ever. <laughs> Bye. Uh, all right. What are we doing? No uh, no virtual guests, just in studio. You know, old school like we used to do it. Mm-hmm. Had to, Big Co had to ship out, had to, out on us, and then we had to go find... It's up to ask out through, of our lives forever. <laughs> people through the internet. <laughs> so... We're all here, live in studio, ready to go. We um, we're gonna do a little, you know, moves to make right now. Now, right now, it's my favorite show. This is your favorite show. It's everyone's favorite show. This is my favorite show. Yeah, every moves to make right now. Every everything's out there is tra- just give me a trade list? for Real these quick. guys, Real sell quick. for those guys. What's all of it? So, if, you know, if you haven't noticed by now, we, we Addison shape, Bijan, uh, we shape these into you know a little bit more of a conversation. Uh, than just, what? Than just a quick list, um, but I think this one could be called a little bit more of of feelers um, on this particular one because I don't I don't really nothing super concrete, but I feel like it's time to maybe throw some feelers out on some things. So I think the first one is Vikings skill position players. All of them. Um, yeah, I mean all the relevant ones. I mean mostly Addison though. You know, Justin Jefferson. Well, yeah, if you could go get Justin Jefferson, please go get Justin Jefferson. Justin Even if it Jefferson, takes Bijan, I guess. Addison, Madison, you know, all the skill positions when when the trade or when when Kirk first went down, we weren't sure what was going to happen for the trade deadline. Um and now, you know, Dobbs comes over. Dobbs wasn't going to play. We were going to get a look at uh Hall, which started off all right, and then Dobbs comes in one week, you know, not even a week. I don't even know how long it was. Not yeah. long. Um, and, and kind of, you know, is able to steer the ship. Um, so amazing. We had kind of talked Good a for few him. times about Justin Jefferson and, and some grips, maybe for the first time ever loosening with some injuries and some good teams. And we saw some trades. So, you know, go after him again. And, and now maybe not, there's another little window here. Cause you know, maybe everybody isn't quite a believer in Dobbs and, and, or, you know, and, and what just happened and, and it'll probably be a little bit up and down. He, he just got there. Um, I don't know if it'll be him or hall, depending on if hall clears, uh, concussion protocol or not um, there hasn't been a whole lot of people who do that quick um, so that'll be interesting but I would assume it'll be Dobbs at some point for the rest of the way um, especially if they're they're staying in contention which they are which has helped you know the Justin Jefferson window get opened back up and uh, you know Jordan Addison's stock stay you know it's basically helped all of your Viking skill positions at least stay afloat I don't know if you're going to be at the weekly high ceiling that, that that you were at with Kirk because Kirk was actually absolutely you know slinging it um, but you know I, th- this really came to my attention because I was talking to Big Co um, and he had you know he has a non-playoff team and a playoff team who came after you know his Puka and Andrews for selling off Hawk and Addison essentially because he was worried about what was going on hey I'm a winning team you're a losing team why don't you give me these pieces? I'll give you these Vikings, which I'm not sure about. And if, you know, he t- he traded essentially Puka and Andrews for Hawkins and Addison in a first. And, you know, that that kind of value is is fantastic. I mean, that's that's basically a free first right there. Um, right. Because, you know, because Andrews and Hawkins Hawk are basically a wash at this point. If Hawks not, if not, Hawks in front. Yeah, yeah, I don't, you know, whatever. Recency same, same, bias, Hawks in front. Same tier. Um, sure. And, and, and maybe now with a QB downgrade. So then you know, Puka for Addison in a first. Puka That's for Addison, a lot. You know. Because I might just take Addison. I guess I'd take Puka. But they're maybe same tier. But, you know, I'm sure there was some ancillary pieces in there, but those were the main attractions. Um, so that was kind of the first thing that, that caught my eye. We wanted to kind of touch on it about once that happened and what to do. And, you know, if it was oh my God, panic and go buy some guys. But they're also, you could send some feelers out there for some of the better teams in the league that have the Vikings skill position players on them. Yeah. Um, it really, I don't think it needs to be better teams in the league. Just go well, send you know, some the, feelers out for some Vikings because like you said, I, I don't the think... The non-contenders aren't going to be as likely to say, I'm bothered by Josh no, Dobbs being but But the all I heard from people were hesitancy of what's going to happen where Kirk Cousins is gone, and now he's got a torn Achilles and is pretty much gone from Minnesota. I mean, maybe, no, maybe I mean, he comes back there. You know, uh, know, they seem to love him, and it's 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 clear he's awesome. But, like, people were already building in that, like, narrative well, that was to just, Addison it, it for was, sure. I think it was more so that it was uh, undetermined that there was a, a big right. re- open space. But now it's space. like that undetermination is well, now— it almost, I, I've, in a weird way, I almost think the Achilles 
helps bring Kirk back to Minnesota. Maybe you're um, right. Yeah, I mean, I kind of had that thought in my head. You know, right, right. Um, <laughs> I gotta let that play for so long. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, I, that, well, that, listen, people are definitely not in on Dobbs. Like I, I've seen people say in the comment section that they've tried to sell Dobbs for a third and it didn't get accepted. So we might as well cut to one of the moves you should make right now is go send a third for Dobbs. <laughs> right. Because if, if you need a quarterback, if you've been losing quarterbacks and you just need a decent QB2, Dobbs should be like a target for you. For sure. Um, Start with a third because I've seen people reject that. Yeah, no. I, like I, the guy who has Dobbs offered him out to a person for a third and didn't get it accepted. Like, right. what in the world is going on? You know, there, and maybe that was in between flux when he when he got traded or you didn't know what was going to happen. You know, whatever. But now that now that Dobbs is there, you know, the stock of Addison, I, I think, is fine. Justin Jefferson, probably fine. Not again, not the ceilings. Hawkinson, fine. And don't crucify me in the comments. Like, obviously, you're probably not getting him for a third. But get right. the conversation started. But if for for the super flex for people who are losing quarterback back Daniel Jones who we're hoping you get him back and you know regardless of what you think about him like he, he it was can't, points in your he lineup. can't score you fantasy yeah, points it was a starting quarter uh, Kirk now out and, and there's multiple other QB injuries all across the league we've been telling you to buy Kyler forever it's about to come to fruition right um so yeah Dobbs would, would certainly be he's QB 10 overall right now 324 rushing yards and four rushing TDs uh for Dobbs um slain so you know what? What he does is he gives he gives you a chance in in most games. He gives the Vikings a chance to stay competitive. I'm all, um, well, sure, yeah. You you went football. I was going to go fantasy going both. football. I went right? both. First right. was fantasy, kind right. of. Well, sort of. O'Connell is like a like he's trying to save his job because I feel like it is in jeopardy. A, a oh, bit. I don't know about that. Well, it was, but maybe not anymore. In the last few weeks, but that I start think him, that he I think had. Him and the GM have a good understanding of what they're doing and what they're I don't think I don't think I was worried about O'Connell but no anyway yeah well they bring in Dobbs anyway they're one of the few teams that needed a quarterback and actually made a trade for one nobody made a big splash like Lance could have been on the move there are several quarterbacks that could have been on the move that weren't but they low-key sl- snuck Dobbs through there right. and then all of a sudden he's playing and wins for him you know and I, and and you've seen him distribute and keep help keep Arizona in games like he didn't get wins so right. it's hard to point to and, and that, that Arizona like, roster compared to this Minnesota right. roster skill position wise anyway just Jesus really Christ. All, all, all over the place I mean you know yeah sure sure but but especially from fantasy football like the right. skill position the Dobbs now has and Justin Jefferson he's like limited in practice all of a sudden like yeah, oh Jesus well, they just opened the window so which, he which, could be back which that's the other move to make is fucking Jordan Addison like go try to get Jordan Addison on your team like look yeah, at well, this that's man's what I, game any, log any, any, any of the of the Vikings sure. positions if there is a, a little bit of lack of confidence in there for you know what whether it, I would start with the good teams that have them and then you know you can work your way down but uh, yeah, of and, course, Jordan Addison. I mean, you know, and real quick, the good teams trying to go trade for jo- Josh Dobbs. Like, I'm not necessarily trying to do that unless I I am competing. And I that's super that QB flex, too, right? right? Yeah, of course, flex. of course. That, that you're not um, trading for Josh Do- and if, jo- and Dobbs. If, if, maybe I'm not. And if I'm rebuilding, I'm not necessarily trying to move on to Josh Dobbs from Josh Dobbs. I might just see what's going on. I might he might be a starting quarterback. That right. you just got for free. Well, you know, uh, to, to to piggyback off that and the move to make to get Dobbs is, you know, th- there's there's a chance that maybe Dobbs is there goes from the end of this year to the, the beginning of next year and, and in some games because of Kirk's status and, and they re-sign Kirk for a year or two deal uh, coming back from the Achilles. So you could get a longer run if they like what they're seeing from Dobbs. Yeah, Which, I might just hold Dobbs, but if, if I, I mean, don't Dobbs have him, is, I'd be trying to Dobbs buy him has come into competing. every single situation in the last couple of times that he's been relevant. The Tennessee situation just and been you know, formidable. Just a, out of nowhere comes into Tennessee and is is their starting quarterback in like a playoff game, and then he wasn't in Arizona for that long for fantasy. He before runs. they started the season, he came in right. late and then late w- was playing with them all of a sudden, and then now he came into Minnesota in in <laughs> one week and and. You know, plays great and keeps you in a game. You know, I barely I just, have enough time to learn the snap cadence. Right, he didn't even know their name. You know, so it's just Dobbs is a good. We're, we got a lot of. You know, I need a quarterback to buy. So that was kind of he. He's your your cheaper option. Um, but yes, Addison, Hawkinson, Madison. I know nobody wants to hear about Madison, but if you're oh, if yeah, you're hurting for not. an RB two, it's twofold with that with Madison because Acres went down, and now okay. you have potentially a quarterback that can kind of keep you afloat. Um, so, you know, I know I know there is nothing sexy at all about Madison. I'm not nah. stating that he's some awesome fucking player, but he can get you 10, 12 points a game. He's going to get the the volume 
Um, and then, you know, if you can get a couple of check downs and, and I'm shit, he caught a, bit, a long pass uh, in this last game. Um, so, you know, I, I think uh, I think all the Viking skills for the most part have, have all of a sudden become relevant and can be helpful and added at a, at a cheaper price. And, and Madison, because people may be not onto it, not trusting Dobbs right, and not like right, the situation. What, right, exactly. Right. So um, that we cu- couple those two kind of moves to make together with Dobbs and the quarterbacks and, and the Vikings. And then, you know, another quarterback, if you're going to look for a little more expensive version, which again, like Madison, nobody's going to like this, but <laughs> you know, I think Deshaun Watson right now is probably a buy, um, you know, regardless of what you think, off the field um, or on the field, really, uh, you know, I, I, if you want to play the morality police, that's fine. I, I'm not saying I like the guy. I, I'm, I'm not saying I'm inviting him to dinner or he's watching my kids or any of those things. We're playing a silly game. We're not voting for him for mayor. <laughs> right. You know, which <laughs> right. those people we are voting for for mayor have probably done at least comparable things that right. allegedly. Right. Allegedly. <laughs> right. And nobody wants to talk about this guy, but like, and everyone wants to crucify him and they're questioning they're just his will to play. Because of is what, he, yeah. he got this money. Is right. he, does he even care? He's hurt, but he's not playing. And, he, and he's just, he's just making up all the rules. And it's just like, right. it's, a, it's a, we're clearly talking about Deshaun Watson. It's like, you know, we didn't say his name. Uh, yeah, he but did. Did, did I? You said it. Okay. Yeah. But you know, really this comes down to, again, if, if, if it's the play on the field that you're worried about, he hasn't been super great, but. In the first game of the year, he puts up 21. Uh, this was a, a, a league that I pulled, so I don't know what this one yeah. here says. I this got, one is I got uh, 21, I think 12, this is five 21. points per touchdown yeah. passing. This so it, he, got, he went 21, 12, and then or, and 21. 21. And the 12 was against Pittsburgh, and we, if and everybody watched that game. I mean, he struggled a little bit, but that's, that's a division rival. Pittsburgh getting after him a little bit, and then, you know, missed some time, came back in. Uh, that didn't work out. Um, and then back to this week it's 19 points um so you know and and what this week showed me a little bit was there was completions downfield with some umph on them um that that you hadn't seen in in a little bit there he looked a little bit more comfortable and the attack down the field was a little better but the rushing floor has been there yeah um and and i'm you know there's a good team around him the offensive line has been a little banged up and they're not going to get some of them back but they're good enough left tackles hurt the skills are the skills are fine. Um, skills, you know, Amari's good. Above par. They did lose Chubb, which that might be beneficial to him from a fantasy standpoint. It's not good for the team, but right. th- that might that might be some more plays in Deshaun Watson's favor. And like you said, this past week we saw him make some throws. Like if you if you've just been listening to the narrative, then you probably think he just quit and doesn't care. But if you've been watching, then you knew that two weeks ago. He couldn't make the throws that he right. needed to make, but he was still he still started after missing some time trying right. to come back He's in. Try to come back too early, basically. They're like, oh, he looks horrible. And it's like, well, yeah, because he was actually injured. And then like, he got a, a I know you, concussion. I, know you I can't and, believe it. And they just sat him out, and they're like, you know what? Let's give him another week. And then he came back, and then you saw in this last game, if you were watching, that he can make some throws downfield. It wasn't limited. I was a I was scary. I was scared. I had Brock Purdy on the bench in a bye week, and I'm like, do I I have Deshaun? Do I trust Deshaun? Because the last time I saw him, he played a few snaps and then was done and. And everyone hates him, and he's going to do bad. And then, like, right. should I drop him, or should I play somebody else? Or, like, do I drop Dalton well, Schultz to luckily, pick up? Do I, you know, like, what do I do to right. pick up? Tw- and then I just I just played him because Casey talked me off the ledge. He's like, I'm sure they, they're they bringing him back. They, they didn't they don't need him to beat right. the he did, Cardinals. It's not, it's not they're like bringing he, him back in a good spot, and he feels right. So right. You can get some confidence going, and it was the Cardinals, to be fair. And But, you know. Now one of those touchdowns. He didn't play have been a whole lot in the game that he got concussed, which I think he was really just mostly very that early. shoulder. He, he went out very early, right. and knew something wasn't right, and so I don't think you had a huge setback there. I think that that was, that was big for Precautionary him. Precautionary more, but I just it just feels like there's an 18 point floor pretty much most dude, weeks. Dude, the with narrative Deshaun. and everything is that he sucks and is terrible and, right. and everything's so bad. So, he hasn't scored le- like he had one 12 point game against right. the Pittsburgh and, Rivals. And, like- and rightfully, you know, he didn't look awesome in those games, but sometimes that's okay. And sometimes my fantasy quarterback doesn't need to look if, awesome in every game. Guess what? Justin <laughs> Fields doesn't look fucking awesome in every game outside the fact that he can run. Right. Well, you if know? Deshaun Watson was looking awesome, he'd have 40. Right. And when right. he looks terrible, it's 18. Right. Well, that's the other part of this is the Cleveland Brown fans are so upset about All how much you fans. paid him. And I'm like, dude, you guys have never had a quarterback my entire Ever. life. You've had 75 I get it. Like quarterbacks. This, this, was you a, know? this is a dicey uh, dilemma that you're in overall because it's your team and you want to root for them. And, and I, got, I get it. But it's just like 
relax. Like if Deshaun Watson is 70% of what he was before this, he's the best quarterback your franchise probably ever had. Uh, and it, it could be trending in that direction there. And he can get you guys to the playoffs. Uh, you know, how many times Big you got to see the jersey the Ravens. with 36 different fucking starting quarterbacks on it? Mm -hmm. You know, before, you know, Deshaun Watson could write your ship here for a little while. He's I'll not be, quitting he's on not your, he's, he's not quitting on y'all. He's not, he's just not like, your white knight. He's the opposite of that. But he's uh, also but, not quitting on no, you. No, I, I think that was a silly narrative. Uh, that's just, <laughs> that was just piling more hate on. Like, guy was really hurt. So anyway, I think there's a buy there. I know you don't want to hear it, but that's why. You want to go buy those guys because if they're, they're if there's still a little bit of a black cloud around them, I we're think, just trying to score fantasy points. I think here. a just okay Deshaun Watson is an eighteen point four, right? Uh, and it's I think these, crazy. there's probably some cheap uh, cheaper value on there. Like I don't think you necessarily you might not even need to pay a first for Deshaun Watson right now. Part of me considered him considered dropping him in redraft because I I was like no one wants to pick him up. Everyone hates yeah. him. I bet I can pick him right back up, and I have no more fab left because I right. blew it all on Devin A. Chain and I Devon forget who else. Achan. <laughs> oh, right. Jesus. I don't even know how to De say it. I just say it. I've been it's saying Devon every time on purpose. A. Chan. Yeah. Devon whatever. A. Chan. Devon A. Chan. Just switched everything up on us, and I'm. I'm Look, I'm some Kassab, very. I'm Kassab. My ass. So many, <laughs> so many people I respected called A. Chain A. Chain for so long that. I just call him A-Chain. Yeah, that's what the announcers always call him. And A-Chain sounds awesome, too. Yeah. So it's like his nickname at this point, <laughs> and you can't get mad at us for saying it. Now, sometimes I'm, I'm usually just saying it. To, you're to just be a being a dick <laughs> because you in the comments section keep popping up. So he keeps being a dick. And I don't it. even read them just every once in a while when, I'm, when my computer <laughs> opens. I see the little box in the corner, and it's got some of the comments. And that's usually when I'll, I'll talk some shit. Devon A-Chan. All right, so the next one is he was on the list last week. Bijan, baby. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know what's going on. Uh, Arthur Smith situation <laughs> is you get know, rid of him. I, I've defended Arthur Smith last year for saying, "Hey, look, he's put this team in a lot of positions to win." And you know, he Pitts got sucks. Pitts got hurt, and 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 Drake was a, a rookie, and you're playing with Mariota, and and you're letting the you know Ritter kind of figure things out. You come into this year, you expect, hey, we got a, we got like three top ten first round picks. This is going to be the offense. Um, and and look, Algier should have some run, man. There is first of all, there's not that many running backs in the league who don't split some time with somebody. Algier is worthy of splitting time with. Uh, you know, Janu Smith, love Janu. Janu's worthy of being out there getting some run. Right. But Kyle yeah. Pitts should be getting Kincaid like targets. Uh, you know, yeah. to 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 Drake's credit, he's been. You know, pretty decent uh, for for most of the year. Not not as good as you'd want him to be, but you're at least a little reassured that hey, he could play if he got the targets. If he gets the targets, he's a very startable asset. Yeah, um, anybody throwing it to him. The fact that that at, at this point that these guys aren't on the field in your critical situations for most of the time, if you're not winning, is 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 is, is at this point like dude, you're on the goal you line doing? and Bijan and Pitts aren't on the field. Or London, I've seen that scenario. And London was hurt, uh, uh, you know, at least. But it's just, yeah. yeah, you're 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 the smartest guy in the room, and you know, it's either the smuggest guy in the room. Sure, it's either, you know, Bijan's not as talented as everybody thought they were, including the front office who drafted him in the top ten, which I've uh -uh. already seen him on the field. Like he is plenty, he is CMC level talent. Uh, he, he, he's There's better. no way that he should not be on the field inside the 20s at at the very least for a large percentage of your snaps because he's so fucking versatile. Dude, like, Bijan is, is more of a mover than even CMC. I mean, I, I'll be honest. I didn't scout Bijan to the fullest extent that we usually scout players. Like We started with Zay Flowers and went in and then went down the road. I didn't need to scout Bijan. Like I had seen him on Saturdays, and I knew the allure. And I'm like, well, if it's if everyone is this in, then I'm in. And and you didn't even need to watch that much. But you watch him in the NFL, right? And this dude just moves different. He, it, right? It, it's like an elastic rubber band from a large man. And the way he just, you can't. Ta it's like he's playing with children out there. He, he's breaking ankles, not tackles. He's breaking ankles. Yeah. And these dudes look stupid trying to tackle him. And some of the catches that he makes, he's just incredible. Right. Like, I see, like, he is 
as good, if not better, than what you thought he was. He right. just isn't getting any touches because right. his goddamn head coach. You should, be, you should be doing what the Giants have done the last two weeks without Daniel Jones just, and just giving him, him fucking 30, 30 carries, carries or game? at least 30 touches. Jeez. Like, he's your best option right now. Uh, Arthur you know. Smith to have so, the, the, Drake London and Kyle Pitts and B. John Robinson should be must see TV every single week. Right. Like you're so excited with those triple combination. That, and, and it's just it's fucking terrible. Right. It's 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 a bummer. And like I said, so it's either it's either that, that you that that us and them have miss scouted that player, which yeah. is probably a fireball <laughs> offense or. You're not using your best player or your best players, which is also a fireable, fireable offense. offense. So, like, fire everyone. <laughs> right. We got to hope that everything, but uh, the, like, there is enough people now out there calling Bijan a bust and being upset about it and getting in their feelings with Here's it. That's the point. And, and, yeah, that, that you need to go strike and send some first. Yeah. Uh, send something. Just go start see what feelers, baby. Feelers. We don't, you don't, you don't need. You don't need to go right out there with three firsts or whatever. Usually, the the idea for me is an elite player. Right, don't go out three, three firsts. Firsts is 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 the you know where we're jumping off at. Bijan, you don't need to. I, you don't think I don't think you need to pay three firsts for no, Bijan right I'm, now. I'm, I'm sending one and something else. Yeah, like and seeing seeing what's up. Like mm -hmm. you know, I don't I don't have a good example lined up here because again, this isn't this isn't necessarily a podcast where I'm trying to throw out examples. By the way. We got some comments on on the last couple of videos of like it'd be nice if we give examples. Like we literally we spend, have been giving. We examples. literally spend most shows comparing this guy or this guy. So in some shows, we're just not going to lay out every single trade scenario. It's just going to be hit me up on know, Patreon. Appreciate you guys viewing, and I forget exactly and, who that was. And Again, I like the comments. Oh, it's love the comments. People. It's multiple but, people, but and love the comments. We but, almost always give you. You're multiple, not listening to the whole thing, right? I mean, we're almost always giving you multiple options of how and what and. A range of where to trade and it's, what to trade it's for. It's really hard to pull shit out of thin air, too, because I don't know all the context of your team. I need to know like what your record is and what the rest of your team looks like and what the scoring is. And is it super flex? I, but if I'm going to tell you whether or not you should trade a first round pick, I need to know if it's super flex or not. Like, <laughs> right. Don't make me ask if it's super. I, I'll, I, I like asking if it's super flex. But the problem is, is that I don't get notifications on comments on comments. It's just that first one. So if I hit you back and say, is it super flex? I might not even see the response. Right. So anyway, Bijan, baby, go go, go trade. Buy go trade for Bijan. Send you know, send Kenny Walker uh, for Bijan. It's and, not the good week to send Kenny Walker. He scored no, two. No, and, and the last two weeks haven't been good. He's been hurt. Go um, buy Kenny Walker. Put that on. Five, the list. I'm just, I just pulled a Six name. Six moves you should make. I just pulled a name that was a little lower. That that that's been good. Um, you know, Kenny Walker. You know, if you if you said Kenny Walker in a first for Bijan, done. Um, you know, I, I, I just throwing a name out there. So Bijan, go, go send a first and something else and see if you can get a conversation going with somebody for Bijan, because those first couple of games that we saw are more indicative of what Bijan is than the last couple of games that we saw of what Bijan is. And the I, I just, there. you can't, the is they can't I'm go on you. much longer with, you know, if you want to talk shit about Vrabel or whoever, like. I'll back those guys, and I'll back. I backed Arthur Smith there for a little while. Like, hey, look, this is it's one thing, but like, you went again and drafted another guy in the top, and you're doing this again, and and like, you're clearly not where you need to be. Like, I just, I can't, I can't come cape for you, man. I'm, I'm at this point. It's just like, get the fuck out, get out, uh, cause, cause, don't get, you know, get rid of him. Yeah, at least he's a rich kid. So, anyway, who Arthur Smith? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, that makes total sense. So rich. Um, I can do whatever I want. Yeah. I don't need you. You it's can't just, tell me shit. Wah. Right. Like fucking Cartman. Nah. All right. So we got it. We got we got two more maybe on the way out of here. We got we had some tight end injuries and losses. Goddard, Waller, you know, tight end premium. Goddard to, you know, a pretty good asset to have on your team. Any given week, uh, he could go out there and, and, and win you the week. Waller has been, you know, the, the, the giant situation and, and a hamstring. But he's been finally for Waller for seasons. Finally, shelf has again. To worked out. Now he's on IR. It's just the sometimes bummer. Sometimes it works out that way, right? The, so the bummer here is, is everybody that I would have told you to go trade for to kind of supplement your tight end position kind of blew just up pulled this out, week. right? Yeah, Kate Otten and so it's a it's a it's a very tough commit, uh, commit. right? So <laughs> in, in ascending order, sort of. I got I got Komet, Joku, Ferguson, Schultz, Bride, McBride, and Otten. Now McBride had a bad week. McBride did a have a bad time week. Good to go by but McBride. He just scored twenty five. Unfortunately, that. you're also probably getting a little buzz that Kyler's, Kyler's coming back. back. Right. So 
you know, that, that, that hurts you a little bit. So maybe there's a window for McBride. You could send out, you know, a two and, and see what happens and then take it from there um, for McBride. But, you know, Komet's obviously, you know, doing some balling out. Um, would Joku, you send a two for Komet? Oh, fuck yeah. I would send a two. All, I would send two twos for Komet. Two twos? Yeah. Um, so Komet's out there, still young, signed to the Bears for a while, which, you know, may, good, good or bad, whatever. It's devastating my case. <laughs> but he's been good with Fields. He's been good with Padgett. So whatever. Joku coming back. Last couple games with Deshaun. Last couple games out there. Had, had some more targets. Ferguson just balled out. Looks good. Schultz, you know, balled out, balled this, out. this week. So, again, th- these are the options of, of guys that I would kind of go after and, and see what I could get. I'm keeping Goddard. I'm not sending Goddard in that deal. Uh, but I'm going to start with twos uh, with any of those guys and then escalate from there to see what can what could uh, kind of, you know, go forward. Can I can I add like a Dulcich and a two to something and, and go, you know, tra- obviously Dulcich has been hurt and maybe people are off of him. I just pulled that because that was, a, you know, uh, could I could I take a uh, Chig and a two and go, you know, Chig would be somebody else that I, I wouldn't mind trading for. Um, with, with Levis coming in there, that, that offense getting a little more exciting. We've seen the snap share for, for, for Chig be great all year. I think it's come down slightly, uh, but we could start seeing bigger Chig games. I don't know how long the Burke situation is going to be, uh, but Chig might be somebody. Some cheaper guys, Hunter Henry, um, been a little up and down, but he's out there a lot. They don't have a whole lot of weapons. And then Logan Thomas, uh, just two cheaper end guys uh, for, for the tight end position. But uh, Komet, Joku. Schultz, McBride, Ferguson, and Otten. Otten is playing a shit ton uh, out there. Uh, the snap percentage is, is crazy, and it Baker finally like Sutton. finally balled out uh, this week for you know. And obviously, like I said, th- these guys are going to be hard to acquire because it's hard to acquire on the ball out week. Uh, but those are those are the tight ends that I've been eyeballing. Moves in, in you must make right next week after they have a bad game. <laughs> Right. Um, <laughs> Whenever it's so fucking appropriate for you to make these right. moves, but man. you know, send 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 a two and something something else out there uh, for for some of those higher end ones uh, and see if you can get. I mean, two for see if somebody's like a two for now two a two. super flex two. Sure, I don't really care which super league flex it is. two seems. I want to keep my super flex twos. I think. Yeah, well, I also want to try need to, to win. And I want to keep trying to win. Super Superflex so. two to to because you had this injury and you need to shore up this spot. Right. So, so if I can this send is you the two twos, you get make. Komet and get a, and on a good team, and I'll, I'm fine with that. I think Komet's like tight end four or six right now. Um, Let me pull it out. I mean, so, pull it up. And Schultz has been really coming along with really tight coming end along five, with five. Oh, yeah, I said four or six, so I was right in the middle. Schultz has really been coming along with Stroud here. They're they're missing. If he took away his seven, seven oh, biggest plays, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Saw that today on Twitter, and I was like, I s- exit. You swiped up with your thumb from just, the bottom. I, to get I rid closed of the whole app out. That's an I was a- like, iPhone just thing. If you guys don't throw know. it away, the green text. You don't know what we're talking about. And then I think the last uh, kind of one here is is I think there's teams starting to concede that they're out of the running. Uh, so again, sending feelers out for some of the older players on those teams. Um, if you can wait a little longer, great. But sometimes that could come back and bite you. Sometimes it can come back and bite you if you trade it now and maybe they got injured. Um, but you know, we're, we're playing fantasy. Anybody could get injured at any point. But guys like Derrick Henry, um, you know, who I, I was sending offers for a week or two for some other running backs and multiple times, uh, guys who I was sending trade with came back with offers for, with. Derrick Henry in them and I didn't want to take him at that point because you know I, I'm, I don't know where I'm necessarily going to end up I wasn't like eight and one you know I'm, I'm, I'm in the you know one or two games above 500 but but scoring a decent amount of points so you feel pretty good but anything can happen but Derek Derrick Henry been carrying Derrick me. Henry's been good and now all of a sudden you, you have an offense that that is getting a little bit more vertical oh, yeah. a little bit more explosive um and so yeah! you know, Derrick Henry uh, you know, again, what the theme is is twos and feelers. You know, throw a two out for Derrick Henry and and see where that can get you. Um, and and that's usually how I start trades. I don't go with you know. Some people are like, I'm gonna send you the highest value trade possible. If you don't like it, we're not talking Fuck anymore. Off, that's and, and that's it. And it's just like I'm yeah. I'm gonna I'm I'm usually gonna creep it up there. And then if we're not getting anything going, I might I might send you a big yeah. I might send you a big offer. But you know, Derrick Henry and and uh. And a younger running back for somebody like that. I don't want to say Tajay Spears because obviously I don't want to do that. Um, but like, you know, maybe Tank Bigsby or, uh, you know, if you have E.T., you don't want to do that. But, you know, maybe if you just have Tank Bigsby, just a, a younger back in there uh, that could. I don't have a good example for Roshan. 
sure you could throw Roshan in there. I would I would want to ah, I would want to keep Roshan. That would be bad to me. If he was I'm fine though if you if that if that's what it takes to get Derrick Henry and get on the field. Um, you know, it is what it is. I think Derrick Henry is, is Kendra. You know, again, that's ah. probably probably somebody I want to hang on to. But if that's what's going to get it done, and we're trying to win, and we're we're in a mode where Kendra hey, buy low for you right now for sure. I, I'd put Kendra on some rosters for sure. If if but uh, you know, I'm not sending. You making that up, move right now? I'm not straight up sending picks. I need He's, to change it to six. He'd be kind of kickers in there. I'd be trying to trying get, to get a kicker. Try to get Kendra get as that the Kendra kicker. kicker. Right. Um. So I'm losing my voice at the end of this thing here. Had it. Yeah. Stop with all the. Uh, yeah. Had a had a had a weekend of. Screaming and yelling and having a good time. Went and saw Marcus King. Were you screaming really and yelling at the Marcus King concert? Oh, sure. Really? Oh, yeah. Was he taking his shirt off? I don't understand oh, how you'd be screaming and yelling I mean, at the Marcus King screaming, concert. Screaming, you know, you're singing along and then, you know, hooting and hollering after songs. And he was uh, really, really. Hooting and hollering. Really shredding it up, man. It so was, rhyme with hooting. It was really good. So, once again, team starting to concede out of the running of, of the playoffs here. Go find some veterans, you know, Mike Evans, Derrick Henry, uh, th- those type of guys who are, you know, the trade value hasn't been very good for them in general. And one more year going into the off season for those guys is, is no, the owner doesn't want to do that. Uh, they want to offload that and get where they can. You know, there, there was a point in time where I have a team that I rebuilt and couldn't get rid of Mike Evans. Now Mike Evans is in my fucking flex every single week. And I wouldn't give him away for a two right now. But if I was in another position and I wasn't winning any games, I guess I would give you, you know, fuck it. Like, I guess let me get that too and, and re-roll because Mike Evans is just, you know, kind of like Amari Cooper where the value n- never caught up to what Amari Cooper Amari's is. Amari's you know? just going to keep being him until he becomes Mike Evans, you know? <laughs> like, I, I've just, I drafted Mar- Amari Cooper in our first ever, like our, our first 12-man dynasty that we started. And... I've just been riding him ever since. Right. Sometimes he gives me 40. Sometimes he gives me zero. This year, been pretty decent, although I'm not even mad at him because he hasn't even been playing with a starting quarterback the whole time, but he's still been startable. My man is just a professional. Right. But like he's just Pro's a pro. fucking professional. Yeah. And he doesn't get any respect because he was, like, touted as the god and wasn't quite the god, but he's just a fucking strong he's, asset. He's awesome. He's the really, Cowboys really just good. let him walk. You right. know, I don't know. Imagine if he was there with Dak still. Like, they... Yeah, I know. I, I I threw Tolbert in there on the on the uh, last rising uh, value show, but Tolbert looking like a like a guy. Uh, Kyle Phillips, Trey Palmer uh, at the at the end of these at the end of the benches here, cheaper assets that you could go try to acquire right now. Kyle that, Phillips uh, you know, and Trey Palmer. Yeah, Mario Douglas was on here for a while. I, you know, hey, I, hey, you still could go get him. I'm I'm sure you could, hey, but hey, I, you know, he's leading the Patriots in wide receiving, but that isn't enough to really move the needle in fantasy. Right. So to I, be like, oh, he's unobtainable now. I got Demario. You can't have him. Like you can still go get Demario. Right. So I I've just started kind of making a sheet of uh you know, uh, you know kickers and trades, uh you know, medium, hotter assets kind of deal. Uh, of, of buys and sells and holds uh, that, that'll be available to the patrons here uh, in a couple weeks here. So I'm kind of working that out and, and figuring it out. But it's basically what we've been doing every week. We got all these extra parts and pieces that, that don't make it in there that need to go somewhere and, and, and show you that, hey. We don't you know, have enough time. Roshan and Rice and Rashi and Downs and Tank Dell and, uh, you know, Demario Douglas have all been on this sheet uh, on buys or the must-do for a while, so you know we've missed a lot. I, uh, Rashad White, just another great game from him. Um, you know, and I know I'm, we're in the ec- exit in, uh, exit outro I the, here. I hit the end music like three times. I know, but you know, I, I said maybe it's time to sell him. I think you could still sell high, but we're also again in that area where I think there's a lot of tweening kind of going on. Like if you're in a certain position, then I think Rash- Rashad White was a sell high, and and if 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 you're in a position of, hey, I need a running back, Rashad White could be a little bit of a buy medium. Like, what could I get Rashad White for? Because he's catching a ton of balls. Um, and, and that's... that's This isn't the week to buy Rashad White. No, certainly not. Wait another um, week. You know, it, but somebody could be selling. If you're if you're on the sell side, try to sell uh, White, you know, right the now. last two weeks. I think we're good. Must he, he is sell such Rashad a good White. wide receiver. Uh, he, his, he's up there with... with CMC and uh, and Eckler and and the other guys who are up in the high target share percentages, um, oh, and target right share. now, um, and and that's that's what I like most about his game. I don't think he's the best actual runner, 
Um, but when he can catch, he's a fantastic, fantastic catcher of the football. And then once he's moving around in space, uh, he can he can really get it done. So uh, Rashad White, um, you know, was on the the must sell high, still sell high. But I could see buying into him if he has a little bit down week. So which so, way is it, Casey? Well, that's 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 no what, context needed. That's what fucking this is. Tell though. me what it that's is. That's what this is, though. It, it's it's sometimes it's this way and sometimes it's that way. It's all the position that you're in currently as a team. So I need all that context. These questions. I know. In the I know. Nobody. Section, y'all. Nobody cares about the context. It's yeah. Just, a list and that's it and, and we'll, we'll start giving you some lists and that's it because we see these other people giving you lists and that's it and it's working for us they're not even good lists so anyways we appreciate y'all thanks for joining us be sure to hit like and subscribe and if you haven't already and if you ask me a question you better, you better be subscribed if you want me to answer it let me just get a subby okay if, you're gonna hit, if I gotta earn a subby by answering the question that's too much that's too much work that's just hit me much. with that subby hit me with that five star review uh, please just go tap it in on the iTunes or the Spotify's. We're over here grinding. Like, how much content can we even push out for y'all? You know, a lot more boys. if I didn't have kids. I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah, we were ten years younger, and uh, you know, <sighs> weren't just having a good time. We could have been grinding, but now we're we're still on, we're on it now. You know what do you want from us? We're giving it to you. Help us out. Help us out. Go over to RevelryBrewingCo.com. Buy a T-shirt slash the FF Dynasty. No, I don't. Maybe Jason wore a nice shirt today. So. I did. I just came from work. Had a work happy hour. Figured I'd just parlay it into it. All jazzed up, trying to get people to listen to me, and now I got a microphone in front of me. This is beautiful. <laughs> trying to get people to listen to me all day, and now you have to. <laughs> you tuned in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, go by Bijan and Addison and everyone we told you to do, okay? Right now, without any contents. We appreciate now. y'all. Y'all have a good night. Peace.